we can have here a Python example where we'll have our window length equals to 10. We'll give uh, this shift of n0 equals to 4. So we will import NumPy, we we'll import matplotlib to plot, we're defining our length equals to 10. We are defining our n0 here, this is 4. So here we have our window function, the sine window. So as given by this equation here. And then we are applying the windows, we are multiplying our window times our sync function, and this is our resulting impulse response, and this is what we're plotting. So we're plotting here the sine window, we're plotting our sync in orange, and we are plotting the window sync function green here in this plot. So we will use this window sync function and we will filter a uh, test signal using this window sync function. So this is our next step here. Now we are importing SciPy to use this L filter. And we are filtering our test signal by the impulse response that we obtain here by applying a window, a sign window to a sync function. And then we will plot here. So this is the original signal in blue, and then this is the output of our filter, and we can see some errors. We can see that there is a delay, but uh, we also see that our filter is uh, very short. So what we can do, we can also um, test with a longer filter to reduce this, these errors. So this is what we're doing the next step. So instead of using a window length of 10, we'll use a window length of 20. So again, our sign window here, but with the new length, our sync function here. And now we need to, instead of 4, we need to give a shift of 9. And this is what we're doing here. So this is our resulting impulse response. We're multiplying our window by our sync function, and we are plotting now. So this is um, our test signal, and now we are shifting it by 9.5 samples, so it's just 9 from this N0, and 0 0.5 is the D, our, our delay, and now we see that we have uh, shorter errors here, so the longer we make the future, keeping the main lobe of the sync function in the center, the smaller the resulting error for the shifted signal x, yeah, but we um, have the height of the ripples, they remain similar. Yeah. So this is what we can see some, this is we see here, just this shifted um, sync function by n0, and we also have the window, shifted window sync function that was the impulse response we used to filter our test signal and we got this final result here.